Hello everyone and welcome. On this episode we are going to be creating a way for the user to check the progress of each job. So if you want to know how that is done, stick around and let's jump right into it. In the last episode we ended up with different jobs that take different amounts of time to complete. And now on this episode we will be creating a way for the user to visualize the progress on each of those jobs. So let's jump right into it. Well, the first thing we need to add is a new image to our job prefab. And we do that by going new UI image. And for this to work, the image must be on top of the name. In this case, this will make so that the name appears in front of the image. Now, we want a new source image and I have it right here, it's this red fill bar progress and if you plop it there and you go into the anchor presets and go filled, you can see that this is our image. However, I do not like it that it is full opacity so we will take just a little bit of the opacity, so maybe I don't know, 150 should do. And I'm going to change the color to something more bright and more orange. Just so it's not that bright red. And as you can see, this will make an interesting effect. And what we want is to change the image type from simple to filled. And in this, you can now change the method from radial 360 to horizontal. And with this in place, if you drag this slider, you can see that this is already looking like a progress bar. However, this is not centered in our graphic, so what we are going to do is we are going to change the transform so it starts at, I don't know, 55? Uh, let's check it. Yeah, 55 looks okay. We will change the top to something like 5 and the bottom also to something like 5. So it's inside the graphic and we will change the rightmost transform so it it's not right up against the end there but against the end of the graphic. So I think 150 should do. No? 117. And this is inside of our graphic and now if we change the fill amount you can see it starts over there and fills all the way up to over here. Let's just change this from image to progress bar and let's apply the new prefab. With the new prefab in place, let's go ahead and change its behavior. And the first thing we are going to add is the reference to the game object we are talking about to the i enumerator. So game object and now instead of us waiting for a fixed duration so we are going to wait for zero seconds and this allows us to run every frame and what why we want that because we want the progress to be updated every frame and we have to keep track on where the progress is of that get item so let's go float time and equal that to zero. So when a person clicks the button, this time will go, go to zero and while the time is smaller than the duration, then we are going to wait for that zero seconds, so a frame, and we are going to increment time by time dot delta time. So this is the same functionality written in a different form. And why we want this game object here? Well, we want that so we can get a hold of the image. And we can call this progress bar. And this is going to be equals to game object dot get components in, chil in children and make sure it's components with an S not component and we want an image component and we want it to be the image number one. And with that 
we can go here into our while loop and go progress bar dot fill amount is going to be equals to the time that has passed divided by the duration and just a little thing that we have to do here after the while loop runs so after the time gets bigger than the duration we want the fill amount to go back to zero because we want um, the progress bar to reset itself to zero so now if you wait for this to compile we can see that if we click drones for instance we get the progress bar that fills in and once it reaches the end we get a new item so drones is very fast if we click on robots it's very slowly because the progress bar depends on the duration of a job now there's a bug with this and that is if we click drones multiple times so let's go you can see that we can get the items very very fast and we don't want that we just want to click and not be able to click again until it completes well and to do that we go here back into the job controller and we in the i enumerator get a hold of our button so let's go button is going to be equals to game object dot get component of type button and what we are going to do is before the while loop we are going to set the button to be not interactable so button dot interactable is equals to false and after the while loop after we are getting our item we can set the button dot interactable back to true and what this will do is if we run the game once we click the button it becomes uninteractable but that also makes the button more transparent and I don't really like that so to change that we go here into the job container prefab we slide out down here into the button script and we change the opacity of the disabled here of the disabled color back to full instead of halfway there and if we run this again and click the button you can see there's not much of a change you can see that you cannot click this and the button is a little bit different so you can click it multiple times it only registers once okay since this episode was a little bit fast let's go ahead and add a new button so on with the time lapse Well, and with that, we reach the end of this episode by creating a way for the player to check the progress. Well, in the next episode, we are going to be working on saving the inventory. And that might take more than one episode, so we will see how that goes. We will save the progress and be able to load it again. So, if you want to check that, make sure you subscribe to the channel, comment on this video, like it, and hell! Share it with your friends and I will see you on the next episode.